smile, his intensity, his fight, all those things about Gary that spoke of life. He became so much a part of the Philadelphia area, the tri-state area, but as with many of us, it didn't begin that way. In fact, he was born in Buffalo in 1954. Upstate New York would be his home for most of the next 27 years. Gary went to Cornell University as an undergraduate and actually considered a career as an attorney. He earned his law degree at the University of Buffalo Law School. But that's when the combination of sports and broadcasting got its hold on Gary. He went into television in Buffalo and in Steubenville, Ohio. 1981 is when Gary came to Action News and the Tri-State area. It was April of that year, and Gary's first report, like so many of his would be, it was from the road in Milwaukee, where the Sixers were playing the Bucks in the NBA playoffs. As it's on to Philadelphia for Game 7 on Sunday. I'm Gary Papa, Action News with the 76ers in Milwaukee. Action News viewers will remember that Gary spent nine years as weekend sports anchor, working alongside Rob Jennings. He also spent three days a week reporting from the field, often on the Phillies, Flyers, Sixers, and Eagles, and often on ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Usually with an accident such as Michael's, what doctors fear is not the physical problem, but a mental problem, because right afterwards there is a state of depression, but that was not the case with Michael. Action News wasn't Gary's only program here on Channel 6. He was also the host of the long-running weekend program, Primetime, taking over for Jim O'Brien in 1983. Come to Mama. Come to Papa. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> in 1990, Gary was named Action News Sports Director. Let's go live to Doug McGraw, the veteran. But it would be a mistake to think that a Monday through Friday anchoring job would let Gary spend his weekends at home. Wherever the sports story was, wherever it took place, Gary was there. So when the Eagles were playing on Sundays, he was working. And if they were on the road, so was he. And when sports came to town, even sports that we weren't all familiar with, Gary was there. And he explained them to all of us. 45,000 inside and outside the first Union Center in South Philadelphia. Highlight of the day, even have some new music. Here we go. Let's get down in the dirt tonight. Because he was seemingly everywhere, seemingly all of the time, many Action News viewers consider Gary a part of their families, as did all of us who worked with him. So when Gary announced on the air in 2004 that he was battling prostate cancer, he knew he was sharing a private ordeal with people who cared, and he received an outpouring of emotion and support throughout his fight. And for Gary, it was a powerful fight. In fact, for much of that fight, he was on top. But three years after the fact, he broke the news to all of us that he was again undergoing chemotherapy. Through it all, Gary's love was being on the air every night that he could. When he sat in the studio, no matter how awful he felt, his spirits would brighten, his smile would shine, and if even for just three minutes, he felt the joy and the thrill of sharing the day's sports and being part of the day's triumphs and tragedies with all of you and with all of us. Gary leaves behind his wife Kathleen and his two sons, Tucker and Nathaniel, and of course his Action News family and all of you.